Nitrogen is a fascinating element, molecularly bonding really tightly to itself. It's the sixth element on the periodic table and is in all living matter, hence extremely important for plant growth. A major difference between biodynamic practitioners and other farmers is the way we view nitrogen. We insist that our nitrogen come from the biological activity of the soil in the form of amino acids rather than as nitrate nitrogen that you get out of a bag of artificial fertilizer or chicken litter. We want to have our nitrogen come into our plants the way that nature intended and farmers have been growing plants forever. 78% of the atmosphere is nitrogen, so there are 70 million pounds above every acre of soil. You don't need or want to buy it. Nature has effective methods for getting this nitrogen from the air into plants. You can taste the sweetness in a biologically fertilized plant and the bitterness in food grown with nitrates. That's because the plant has to convert the nitrate into amino acid nitrogen, and that takes energy, which in the plant is sugar. Insects can't digest sugar, so they leave naturally fertilized leaves alone, but they love plants fertilized with nitrates. This crimson clover patch was planted last September with a nurse crop of buckwheat and daikon radish. It will supply a major portion of the next crop's nitrogen needs, which this year will be sweet potatoes. A bacteria called rhizobium grows on the roots of crimson clover and other legumes like that. So right there is a little nodule of nitrogen, and that's the amino acid nitrogen that we want to have all farms had to grow clovers and legumes before the synthesis of nitrogen. That's how they got the nitrogen for their crops. In the 1800s, it was actually a law that you had to grow clover every two years out of four on your cropland. This beautiful biodynamic compost has billions of microorganisms in every spoonful. Many of these are also capable of fixing atmospheric nitrogen. The amino acid nitrogen then finds its way into the plants through feeder roots. A plant actually has two kinds of roots, one for bringing up water and one for getting nutrients. We don't want our soils to have water-soluble fertilizers because then when a plant wants a drink of water, it's getting these nitrates into it when it's not asking for it. Then it will grow in an unbalanced way and be susceptible to diseases and other problems. We want the plant to get nitrogen from the soil life when it asks for it in the proper amounts and in balance with all the other nutrients that it needs. All farms had to have livestock before the discovery of how to synthesize nitrate from the air. A cow's stomach gives the wastes the very microbes the soil needs to fix nitrogen, but it's best to compost it for a year to turn any nitrate into amino acid nitrogen. Nitrate is a key ingredient of gunpowder. It was at the beginning of World War I when Germany, who couldn't import mined nitrate, developed the factories for making it. Those factories sold weapons to both Germany and England, prolonging the war for six more years. And then they became fertilized factories. Once farmers started using nitrate, they had to continue because the nitrate kills the very microbes that fix nitrogen. Don't worry about nitrogen and don't believe the experts who say that you have to buy it. There's nitrogen everywhere. Just use compost, cover crops, and no chemicals, and microbes will return that can fix nitrogen into your soil 
from the 1,400 pounds of nitrogen that's above every square foot of your garden. For inspiring garden tours, growing tips, and garden projects, visit our website at volunteergardener.org or on YouTube at the Volunteer Gardener channel and like us on Facebook.